So last month, May 2023, T Public announced that they're going to be splitting their artists into two categories starting June. Well, it's June 2023, and I wanted to explain what those two categories are on T Public. Let's go. Hey everyone, it's Juno with Detour Shirts. In this video, I wanted to talk about T Public's new category system. So there's two categories. I wanted to do this video for a while, but I wanted to make sure I understood it before I did it. So it took me a little while to get this out and it's already June. So you should be in one of those two categories already and have been seeing the changes. So I wanted to go into T Public first and look at the FAQs and explain where you can find what category you are and what the differences are. So let's go into T Public right now and I'll show you the difference. Okay, I'm here on T Public, tpublic.com. This is their homepage. I wanna show you where you can find more information about the category. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down and you go to designers and you can see earnings right here. So I'm gonna click on that and you can see it's changed. It has the two categories now. So artisan and apprentice. So artisan is basically the same thing that we used to have. Uh, anyone that's in the artisans, nothing has really changed for them. You can see uh, you still get $4 per t-shirt and $2 on a sale. So if you look at your earnings report, you'll notice that each time there's a sale, you get $2 and $4. So pretty much the same, I mean, exactly the same what we had before. So now you can see there's this one, Apprentice. So Apprentice, uh, you don't get as much. You get $3 instead of four. So you get a dollar off. Uh, or taken from you or however you want to see it and then on the sale you only get one dollar per sale which is really small uh, in my opinion um, but you can see that's that's what it is so all, all the way across the board you can see there's more uh, things on here like stickers is even less and and so on but uh, you can look at that that's where you find it so if you want to learn more about the different um, earnings you can go here to the facts but before I go there, one easy way to find out which one you are, if you're artisan or apprentice, is to just go to your account. If you hover over it, you can see right there, account category, I'm artisan, so yours might be different. And you can go to more info here, as well as visit the facts. So I'm gonna do it really simple. I'm gonna go to more info here. So um, do this, go to more info, and then click there. So this facts page kind of explains everything. I'm gonna go over it with you. Um, and give you my thoughts on it. So this basically explains everything what T Public uh, wants you to know about the two categories and how you can get from each category and like what what does it mean to be in the artisan category? What does it mean to be in the apprentice category, right? And then you can see frequently asked questions. What are the account categories? How does this service fee increase affect my earnings? How are accounts categorized? Where can I find my account? We just showed that. Uh, can my account category change? Yes, it can. Um, what happens if my account category changes in the middle of the period? Uh, that one's going to be easy to answer to. If I'm an art affiliate on T Public, will my extra fees earnings change at all? This is a no. I'm going to answer that one right away. That affiliate sales, at, at least for the time being, um, doesn't change um, for categories. And this one right here, we can answer this one really quick. What happens if my account category changes in the middle, your earnings will be based on the account's categorization at the time of the sale. So T Public knows if you switch in between and for some reason you switch to artisan and you're from apprentice to artisan, you will be getting, as soon as that happens, you get the $4 per sale and so on. If you go back down, you as soon as that happens, if you go from artisan to apprentice, you'll get $3 and so on. So. Uh, that's how that works. So let's see the two categories right here. Let's go back to the first one. Uh, artisan accounts. These accounts represent artists who design unique products most likely to interest their customers browsing the tea public marketplace. So basically what they're saying is they want original artwork. They want artwork that people want to buy, which is what we've been saying on this channel anyway, designed for what the audience wants. Uh, and here's what they're saying. Here's some examples of what they're looking. So this kind of thing. You can see this This artist has a certain style, this artist has a certain style, like really original uh, art. They probably drew this or, or did something here. Um, look at this. This is a, a style, right? And so on. So you can see just high quality, looking for artists, right? Designed by artists, just like Redbubble. They want to see stuff designed by artists. They don't want to just have a blanket 
full of just regular stuff that anybody can do. You can see this is more for artists. So that's why it's artists in, right? So coming back here for the apprentice accounts, they also give examples what an apprentice account is. These accounts represent artists who are less discerning about the products they design. T Public is clearly saying we don't want those scale designs on here where it's just the same thing changing over and over, just text designs, and you'll see what I mean. So um, you can see they don't want spamming T Public in high volumes and so on. So here, clicking here, this is an example that they're saying. You can see they use the same bear over and over, but just changing. This one says Grandpa Bear. This one says Grandpa Bear on the top. This one says Grandpa Bear. Like so many different versions of Grandpa Bear. So this is not what T Public is looking for. In fact, I don't think this is what T Public's audience is looking for too. So they're really trying to make it so that this is a place where you can find original arts um, by artists, right? So that's the difference. Artisan accounts mainly for artists, and you can get into here if you want. If you're if you see that your account is an apprentice, if you want to change that and make sure that each uh, individual design is more artsy or design better, you know, take the time to design instead of trying to just spam T Public. That's what they're trying to avoid here, basically. So that's the big difference between artisan accounts and apprentice accounts. One's more original artwork, which is what T Public is looking for, and apprentice accounts is more people who are just kind of blasting and, you know putting the same kind of things, but with little tweaks. Okay, so next question. How does this service fee increase affect my earnings? So artisans earnings don't change. It's the 4-2 split, right? You got $4 regular and $2 uh, during the sale. Apprentice, like we saw, and beginning June 1st, so we're already in June, you should be seeing this if you're an apprentice, uh, $3 when you sell full price and $1 for the sale. So, and clicking this link will just go back to the table we saw earlier in this video. So the next question, how are our accounts categorized? We pretty much saw this in this answer here, but it did just explaining that you can go back and forth uh, between. So if they, they see that you started spamming um, designs, they may put you into apprentice, but if you start cleaning up your apprentice stuff and, and start um, putting on original designs that people want to see, then you'll get back to the artisan. Where can I find my account category? We saw really quickly, um, but you can also go to the dashboard, but it, just that drop down that we saw will tell you. So last one here, last question that we didn't answer is, can my account category change? If so, how? It says, yes, it's possible that it can change. It all depends on your design quality and artistic skill level, the volume of designs and consumer appeal, so basically what they're saying is they're looking for really good designs to show on Tee Public. And if you're not trying to do that, you're just trying to blast Tee Public, you're going to take a hit, right? So I think this is just a way for Tee Public to kind of clean up their site, kind of give more incentive to people to do original designs and create designs that the Tee Public audience wants. So there's a couple more things I wanted to mention that aren't mentioned in those. And that is first, uh, a lot of people are asking, have been asking before, why my designs aren't showing up. So it's pretty clear that T Public is trying to say that if you're in the artisan uh, category, they will sh show your designs on the marketplace. And if you're not in the artisan category, if you're in the apprentice category, your designs will not show up in the marketplace. They're kind of discouraging those that are trying to spam T Public. They really want to show. Uh, and give priority to those that are in the artisan category and showcase those designs, the designs that they think that the Tee Public audience wants to see. So these two categories on Tee Public, as far as I understand it, is not based on time. It is based on design. So like I've been trying to say um, for a lot of these videos is it design really matters and really does here on Tee Public, um, just like it does on Redbubble, but more specifically here, on T Public, because you can see the the divide that they're saying is we want original. T Public is saying basically we want original designs that people want to buy on T Public. We want to make sure that we're showcasing those kinds of designs. Now, because of that, it doesn't matter if you've been on T Public. As far as I understand it, it doesn't matter if you've been on T Public for years or if you just started T Public. They're going to look at into every account. I don't know how they're going to do this, but they're going to do an audit basically of every account and look at all the designs and uh, figure out are these designs the kind of designs that people would want to see on T Public or is this account just trying to spam T Public with 
the same kind of designs, just changing a word here or two or moving moving it up and down and things like that. So think about what you're putting on T Public. Make sure that you're putting the best things on there, which you should be doing anyway, um, putting the best things on there, what people are you think people are gonna buy. So think about the design and don't try and do scale designs or spam T Public in any way because that's an easy way for you to get uh, to the apprentice account. So hopefully that was really helpful for you. Um, let me know in the comments if everything made sense there. And I, I think this could be a good thing um, for people who are legitimately using T Public to showcase their art and design for that community. So like every print on demand site, I've said this before, every print on demand site has their own audience and it's our job as artists, as sellers to figure out what that audience is and deliver the best product for that audience. So same thing here on TeePublic, on Redbubble and on Amazon Etsy as well. So wherever pod site you're on, make sure to figure out what the audience uh, wants on there and design your best things for that audience. And that's just gonna help you get sales as well um, instead of just trying to push tons of designs out and hoping for the best. So that's not a good strategy. The best strategy is to design for the audience on that print on the mad site. So thanks again for watching. If you want to see the video I made about Redbubble's changes is a while ago, but I'll put that video right here. You can see what they have done with the tier system, a little bit different than TeePublic. So that, that one's a good watch too, if you sell on Redbubble or plan to sell on Redbubble. Thanks again for watching. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.